Angela Lansbury, who crooned as a teapot in Beauty and the Beast and solved mysteries as Jessica Fletcher in Murder, she wrote, died October 11th at the age of 96, just days shy of her 97th birthday, her family has confirmed. Lansbury was an actor of enormous range, whose career spanned close to eight decades, beginning when she was cast as the Tart, unerring maid opposite Ingrid Bergman in 1944's Gaslight. Later in her career, the actress became a sort of granny for all in such films as Mary Poppins Returns and Nanny McPhee, but the extent of her talent could also be measured by the menace she could hide behind her wide set eyes. Lansbury was born in London in 1925 to an actor mother, Moyna McGill, and a politician father, Edgar Lansbury, who came from a lineage that was instrumental in the founding of the Labour Party. Her father died when she was nine, and six years later, her mother picked up and moved her family to North America, as London was reeling from the Blitz. It wasn't long before Lansbury found her way into the movies. In Los Angeles, she ran in social circles with other British expat actors. One day when she was out for tea with her mother, she met the actor Michael Dine, who was planning to audition for an adaptation of The Picture of Dorian Gray. He thought that 17-year-old Lansbury would make a perfect Sybil Vane, Dorian's doomed lover. Dine brought her to MGM, where she was immediately pegged not just as a potential star of Dorian Gray but also as a possible candidate for George Cukor's Gaslight. Lansbury was signed by Louis B. Meyer for a term contract, and the two parts followed, along with Oscar nominations for both. While MGM served as her training ground, she was frustrated by the limitations of the opportunities it provided. MGM did not have a clue as to how to use me, she told Vanity Fair in 2017. And eventually, I couldn't wait to leave because I wasn't getting anywhere. She maintained a chilly relationship with the film industry throughout her career, and believed her desire to be a serious actress rather than a star curtailed her success, in a 2011 interview with TCM's Robert Osborne, L. But playing the scheming Eleanor is Ellen, a communist operative under layers of cover, tapped into Lansbury's unique talent for giving her characters unexpected depths. Accepting her honorary Academy Award in 2014, Lansbury said of Manchurian, I just couldn't top that role, so I took off for Broadway. Getty Images, 